This is Dr. Vinod here and I hope you're well. Today I'm going to speak about a common problem that many of us face, knee pain. I'll be talking about what are the causes of knee pain and focusing on a particular common problem. Uh, and also in the later half of the video, I'll be showing you some simple exercises that you can do at home, uh, which will help you to get rid of your knee pain. So uh, what causes knee pain and why does it happen? Now, many of us suffer from knee pain at some point in our, uh, in our life. Um, sometimes it can be as a result of an injury or trauma, like after sports, wherein you have ligamentous injury or a knee sprain. Uh, it could be things like infection and degenerative conditions like osteoarthritis. So I'm going to focus on knee pain that happens in the front of the knee, uh, sometimes felt all around the knee. The pain is uh, usually felt when you've been standing for some period of time or if you're bending your knee, uh, if you've been climbing stairs up and down, uh, sometimes sitting cross-legged and doing squats uh, can also cause this kind of knee pain. Now some people might even feel some kind of a crackling sensation or hear a crackling sensation from the knee when they extend and bend their knee. And the pain is most often localized sort of behind the kneecap, which you can feel in the front of the knee. So the age group normally of this problem is uh, from teenage to about 40 years of age. Now beyond this age, normally degenerative or osteoarthritic uh, causes for pain uh, usually presents. So uh, this is, uh, is something called patellofemoral pain or chondromalacia. And to understand why this happens, I will quickly run you through some basic anatomy. The knee joint is the largest and the strongest joint in the body. It is formed by the lower end of the thigh bone, upper end of the shin bone, and a small bone in the front called the patella or the kneecap. All of us have a smooth lining normally in the, in the joint, and this at the back of the patella and the inside of the joint. And it's this smooth lining which is called the cartilage. And the cartilage, along with the lubricating fluid inside the joint, allows for the friction-free movement of the joint. So the joint moves, bends and straightens out. Now, the joint is also uh, supported by the muscles. Here it is shown as a cord, but actually it's the muscles in the front of the thigh, which come and attach to the kneecap and then goes further down. It is these muscles which support uh, the knee joint. Another thing to understand is that the kneecap or the patella sits in a groove. As you can see at depression here, uh, the patella sits in a groove. So whenever this muscle becomes weak or if there's an imbalance between that muscle and the hamstrings which run at the back of the knee, then this puts increased load on the kneecap and it causes thinning and softening of the cartilage uh, behind the kneecap. And this causes the pain. So what are the initial things that can be done once you get this kind of a problem? Uh, the body has got an in, in, inherent tendency to uh, heal itself naturally and so the cartilage usually regenerates but what we have to do is to help it by offloading the area so that the body gets a chance to heal and regenerate the cartilage lining of the knee. Now what we can do is uh, simple modifications. Uh, uh, first of all is to stop the high intense uh, activities or the activities which cause the knee pain like uh, climbing a lot of stairs, uh, prolonged standing, sitting with your knee bent, or uh, running or walking on uneven ground. Once this is done, you can also ice the area, which helps reduce the inflammation and also gives a relief to the pain. Then you can use uh, things like a soft uh, knee brace, which uh, especially the kind which has got a hole in the middle. Uh, these are the elastic soft neoprene kind of braces, which can wear when the knee pain comes on for a short period of time. You can even walk with it, um, but it does not have to be worn at night, uh, only when you're standing or walking that you need to wear the knee brace. Over-the-counter painkillers can be used, uh, simple anti-inflammatory medicines uh, will also help relieve the initial pain and symptoms. But the most important thing that one can do to try and relieve this is to do uh, some exercises, some simple exercises, which does not put much of a strain on the knee, but which helps to develop the strength, develop and strengthen the front of the thigh muscles, which are the quadriceps. It also helps to stretch uh, and eventually strengthen the hamstrings, which are at the uh, back of the thigh. Now, these are the muscles which uh, have a direct impact on the knee. And by doing these exercises, uh, it will help to control the symptoms and give you some pain relief. Now, if you have 
have been doing some exercises recently and it's those exercises which have started causing the pain then there are certain things to avoid uh, for example things like deep squatting uh, the leg extension machines in the gym and also lunges uh, you will need to take time off from these activities and not do them at all because this can further put a strain on the kneecap and worsen your problem so i'm going to demonstrate some uh, simple exercises which can be done on your own uh, with some very simple uh, props uh, all you need probably is a chair and uh, a towel to do these exercises. Uh, you can do them at home or at your workplace. It will hardly take about 10 to 15 minutes of your time to do these exercises. So here we go. So this exercise is called the straight leg raises. Uh, for this you can sit on the floor or on the bed with your back resting against a wall or some kind of a support. You should then uh, bend your opposite knee uh, so as to stabilize yourself or steady yourself and then with uh, the toes pointing up you just need to lift the leg straight up in the air it doesn't have to go all the way up you just need to lift it up a few inches off the ground hold the contraction for about uh, five seconds that contracts the quadriceps muscles as you can see uh, and feel and then uh, you can even point your toes towards you to make it more effective and place it down then you again repeat the same procedure, um, you lift it up, hold it up for a count of 5 and then keep it down and then you can repeat the same with the opposite uh, leg as well. So for this exercise you can take uh, like a bed sheet uh, or, or a towel, fold it a couple of times till you get a substantial thickness, then you can uh, place that underneath your knee. Uh, make sure you're comfortable, well rested and balanced and support your back with uh, your hand and then you've got to press down on the towel thereby lifting the leg up in the air uh, and you'll notice a contraction of your uh, thigh muscles. Hold that position for a count of five and then uh, relax. And then you can repeat the same again. Press down on the towel that lifts the leg up. Hold the contraction, keep it down. And then you can repeat it a few times to get the maximum effect and benefit from this exercise. So this exercise is the seated leg, leg extension. What you need to do is sit on the chair, make sure your back is well supported. You need to do this exercise to work the front of thigh muscles. It's a strengthening exercise. So if you're working the right leg, for example, you place the left leg onto the uh, ankle and then extend the leg thereby contracting the muscle and hold that contraction for a count of uh, five and then you place it down to relax uh, those, that muscle again. And then again you lift and do the same. Make sure that your buttock is on the chair and does not lift off, count till five and then relax. Now to make it more effective what you can do is uh, to twist the uh, leg outwards slightly so as to work the uh, inner part of your quadriceps muscle which is the VMO muscle which is the most important to stabilize the kneecap. So this exercise works the inner thigh muscles. You've got to take the same uh, roll of uh, towel, keep it in between your knees and then what you need to do is to squeeze in and once you squeeze, you need to hold that position for about 5 seconds and then relax. So you need to squeeze inwards, hold position for a count of 5 and relax. Squeeze in, hold for a count of 5, relax. And you can repeat this a few times to get the maximum benefit of uh, this exercise. So this exercise is uh, the seated uh, hamstring and calf stretches you can sit on a chair but then move to the front of the chair so as to get adequate clearance with thigh you need to keep your legs straight point your toes up towards you and then stretch out with your arm thus bending your back uh, and this will keep the hamstrings and the calf muscles at a stretch you got to hold this position for a count of five and then relax and then again do the same and repeat the movement and if possible try and touch your toes in the beginning it'll be quite difficult to get uh, flexibility of the hamstring but over time as you keep doing it things will improve this exercise is the wall slide you need to lean your back against the wall 
um, and make sure your buttock and the lower back is against the wall and then you slide down and hold the position of about 45 degrees at the knee and then come back up again so again you slide down hold for a count of five and then come back up again so as you saw those exercises are quite simple quite easy peasy easily done will hardly take about 10 to 15 minutes of your time every day uh, and if you do this exercise every day then you will notice some difference in your knee uh, the key to this is consistency and persistence and you have to do these exercises every single day without fail and in a few weeks you will start noticing the difference Once you're happy with the progress you're making with these exercises, then one can always progress on uh, to further more intensive exercises, maybe even go to the gym to do the leg, leg extensions, lunges and squats, or add weights to the legs in order to increase the intensity uh, and build up your strength in the muscles uh, which I've described before. Well, of course, if things are not improving in spite of uh, your best efforts or if uh, indeed it's worsening after trying the exercises, and it's very important to not delay things and to seek medical attention, uh, preferably see an orthopedician who specializes in sports injuries. Now, the doctor after examination of the knee might want to get x-rays and MRI scan done to further quantify the problem and also to pick up any other associated problems that might be there inside the knee. The treatment options then would be to proceed along the lines of formal physiotherapy uh, regimen or, or program or, or to uh, do an arthroscopic uh, surgery wherein we go in and uh, clean the knee out and also try and smoothen out the cartilage in a procedure called uh, chondroplasty. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you have learned something new about knee pain and also some exercises that you can do easily at home to try and relieve uh, the knee pain. If you enjoyed watching this, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. I will be coming out with further videos about various orthopedic conditions. So as always, Keep moving, keep fit, stay healthy. Namaste. If you like this video or found it useful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you want to be notified of further videos coming up, please do press the bell icon which is next to the subscribe button.